Hello students, welcome all of you. In this video, I am Kumar going to discuss hybrid parameters or H parameters in circuit theory and semiconductor devices for BSc part 3 physics courses in lecture number 15. Every linear circuit having input and output terminals can be analyzed by four parameters, one measured in ohm that is resistance, SI unit of resistance, one in mo that is reciprocal of resistance that is admittance or conductance and two dimensionless one is voltage ratio while other is current ratio called hybrid or mixed parameters abbreviated as H parameters. Since these parameters have mixed dimensions. Hence, they are called hybrid parameters. Suppose a linear circuit as shown in figure 1 has input, input voltage V1 and input current I1 while output voltage V2 and output current I2. A linear circuit is that in which resistances, inductances and capacitances remain fixed while voltages across them, while voltage across them changes. Linear circuit was circuit hai jis mein resistances, inductances and capacitances ke values fixed hote hain jab unse ho kar voltage unke cross voltage change hota hai. That circuit is called linear circuit. Voltages V1 and V2 and currents I1 and I2 in the linear circuit as shown in figure 1 can be related by, by the set four set sorry related by the following set of equations given by V1 equals to V1 is the input voltage of the linear circuit V1 equal to H11 I1 plus H12 V2 suppose it is equation number 1 and I2 which is output current in the linear circuit. So output current I2 of the linear circuit can be expressed as I2 equals to H21 I1 plus H22 V2 where V2 is, is the output voltage of the linear circuit as shown in figure 1. In both equations H11, H12, H21 and H22 are called hybrid parameters or H parameters where H11 first hybrid, hybrid parameter is H11 which is the ratio of input voltage and input current that is H11 is equal to V1 upon I1 when output voltage V2 is equal to 0. And 
we know that the ratio of voltage and current is called resistance. So, it is the ratio of input voltage and input current when output voltage V2 is equal to 0, that is when the output is short circuited to AC and it is called input impedance which has the dimension of resistance because it is the ratio of voltage and current. V by I is equal to resistance R we know in an electrical circuit from Ohm's law. So, H11 is the first hybrid parameter equals to V1 upon I1 at V2 is equal to 0 when V2 is, V2 is equal to 0 output voltage is equal to 0 and it is the input impedance when the output is short circuited to AC that is alternating current. Now, second parameter is H12. H12 is equal to V1 upon V2 that is the ratio of input voltage V1 and output voltage V2 when I1 is equal to 0 that is input is open circuited to AC and H12 that is second hybrid parameter is the ratio of input voltage and output voltage at input current when input current I1 is equal to 0 and it is the it is known as the reverse voltage amplification factor reverse voltage amplification factor because it is the ratio of input voltage to the output voltage not the ratio of output voltage and input voltage so uh, it is known as the reverse voltage amplification factor when input is i1 is equal to 0 input current is 0 that is input is open circuited to ac now third hybrid parameter is h21 which is the ratio of i2 upon i1 that is output current and input current when v2 is equal to 0 that is output voltage is equal to 0 that is the current gain i2 by i1 is current gain when uh, <coughs> when the output is short circuited to ac so third parameter h21 that is i2 by i1 that is the current gain is dimensionless because the ratio of current output current to the input current and also h12 second hybrid parameter is the ratio of input voltage v1 and output voltage v2 it is also dimensionless because uh, it is the ratio of input voltage and output voltage hence both hybrid parameters that is second hybrid parameters uh, sorry second hybrid parameter h12 and third hybrid parameter h21 are dimensionless and the fourth hybrid parameter is h22 it is denoted by the symbol a small h22 suffix mein 22 hai that is h22 is equal to the ratio of output current i2 and output voltage v2 as shown in figure 1 output current is i2 and output voltage is v2 and it is the reciprocal of resistance resistance we know that resistance r is equal to v upon i and it is reciprocal to resistance which is known as conductance in the linear circuit it is known as admittance 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 is the reciprocal of impedance in linear circuit so in place of conductance in linear circuit in linear ac circuit uh, it is known as output imp impedance i2 by v2 h22 fourth hybrid parameter is the ratio of output current i2 and output voltage v2 when input current i1 is equal to 0 and it is known as the output admittance when input uh, current i1 is 
that is when input is open circuited to AC. Now, uh, thus we have discussed four hybrid parameters of mixed dimensions. Hence, these four parameters are known as hybrid parameters. Hybrid parameters H22, that is uh, the fourth hybrid parameter, has the dimension of conductance, which is the output admittance I2 by V2 when I1 is equal to input current is equal to 0. So, first hybrid parameter H11 has the dimension of resistance which is the input imp impedance H11 is equal to V1 by I1 at uh, output voltage when output voltage V2 is equal to 0 that is the output is short circuited to AC. So, H11 has the dimension of resistance H12 and H21 uh, both are voltage uh, voltages and currents ratio. So, both H1 and H2, H12 and H21, second and third hybrid parameter, hybrid parameters are dimensionless and the fourth hybrid parameter H22 has uh, the dimension of uh, reciprocal of resistance uh, that which is known as the output admittance in linear circuit and in simple electric, uh, electrical circuit it is known as conductance that is reciprocal of resistance. Now this video is uh, completed. यदि यह वीडियो आप सभी को पसंद आया हो, तो इस वीडियो को अधिक से अधिक लाइक करें तथा मेरे YouTube चैनल Physics Quantum Classes को अधिक से अधिक सब्सक्राइब करें. Thanks all of you for watching my YouTube चैनल Physics Quantum Classes.